been over a year since we've been this way. It's past due that we headed. I don't like heading downstream, but Downstream is better than no stream. Plus, we got to turn around and come back up. Maybe the view will be better on the way back up. So maybe that's when we'll shop. A lot of broken bottles, and I stopped right here. You know I stopped because we're not moving. That looks like a knife, a pocket knife. It's either a pocket knife or a piece of uh, something else. That is a pocket knife. I didn't even need a metal detector. Look at that. A little wormy. This thing will definitely fall all apart when it dries. There's a little emblem. Pretty cool. 30 seconds in the creek. Have we been out here 30 seconds yet? Or has it been a little longer? That's all I'm going to chip off. Pretty neat, huh? Let's harvest. And move on. That got pretty deep right there. I almost put the old leggings to the test. I'm just looking at the sides of the bank again to see what's going on. A lot of fish. This is the creek. I don't know if I was making, I was making videos, but I wasn't putting them on YouTube then. And I may, I may have went back and put that one on YouTube. But uh, this is the creek where I found the oldest sign I've ever found and it was from the late 1800s that bottle says whistle on the bottom it's not a whole bottle Whistle registered. I've never heard of a whistle drink. But this was one. I hope it all clears out before we head back upstream because I'll need to be able to see the bottom. some big fish in here. This is gonna get deep. Man, I have erred, I believe. I should have got in a different spot. Ooh, let's look at this bank first. Look at the layer of slag. That's all the shiny rocks. There's Blues, greens, black. So that's 1800s stuff. Maybe early 19s also, I'm not sure. I wasn't here. There's something shiny on the bottom. 
It looks like a machete. There's a piece of a railroad track. No, it's a digging tool. A quite heavy digging tool. It's no way that just went in my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna catch something. I can't pick it up, it's so slimy. It says, it's no, it says Fiskers. That's pretty cool though. I hold it in my hand. I can't believe I just splashed that in the mouth. Yeah, it's gonna be nice cleaned up. We will harvest. Put it right there next to my water bottle. <laughs> water always tastes better when it's got a little lime in it. Now we gotta get through here. When it gets overcast, it puts a hair more difficulty on seeing the bottom. Now this is the big snake zone. There should be a big snake in here. We'll probably hear it, but not see it when it takes off through all this. Fiskers thing kind of putting a little weight in my man purse. I'm trying to get through. There we go, we made it. I can still taste the river between us. That was a bunch of little fish trying to get upstream. We gotta get down there in this smooth zone. Without falling on these. I was trying to knock that rock off the end. The shoe of horse. I'm not sure I'm gonna take it. Even though that is old. When was the last time a horse did a two-step down in here? Couple of good sized animals just swimming, swimming water over there. That's all red Alabama clay. So there's not gonna be anything in that because it wasn't put there. If this gets too deep. Then we're gonna be at a standstill.
Got cows getting out. Man, it's going to get too deep. I'm going to try it though. No reason to have a camera on, you can't see, but we're going down there. I'm still in the deep. Something jumped in the water over there. Probably a turtle. I like these thigh highs because they're not as hot as the uh, full body green bean. But you do lose some depth. Oh, we gotta slow down right here because there's stuff in here. You see anything you want? Me either. So far, since I forget so often to do wrap-up videos, we have a pocket knife and a uh, Fiskars cutting thing, which is quite impressive. Let's get up on the side here before we really get in too deep. Maybe we'll see something. You just gotta be able to see going back or you're gonna have issues. So will I. We'll go back on that side. See if you could get here in the bottom and, and sweep all this real good. You could see stuff. But. Then you start stirring up all the old settled mercury. all the PCBs and all the other stuff that's throughout every industrial area in most states. If you look up PCB count, there's an acceptable level of PCB intake for each human being. Isn't that awesome? I probably reached mine with that last drop. Back there. I'm unsure how blankets get on the bottom of creeks, but there's always a blanket in a creek. Maybe the water was cold that day when they went swimming. Ooh, the sunshine. There is a piece of white glass. Those things always last too. Now you find a lot of them broken. I've got a pretty good little stack of these. We'll harvest. I don't know why I keep them. Well, I've got maybe 15. I don't have a bunch.
I believe that's lead. Squeezing pipes together. Lead. Maybe. I wonder if people swam in this. Probably not in the 1800s. Maybe 1700s. I bet this joker was crystal clear before you had all these pipes and all this other stuff. You remember this place? It's been a long time. That's just some serious crash and burn stuff right here. But if I fall, don't cry for me, Argentina. Because we're just going to press on. Now we got to figure out the best way through the, uh, the danger zone here. That looks too deep. That looks too deep. You know what I've never done when I got done with a, a grocery cart at the grocery store or Walmart? I never went and just threw it in a creek. I think you're supposed to do that. I've just never been able to get out of the parking lot with one. I'm sure there's a way because people find it and do it. It looks like a cell phone. But I've got to ask myself. That's not a cell phone. How does it stand there? I'm going to turn the camera off and climb down. Here we made it. If you really wanted to get your full intake of PCBs and mercury, jump in that. And then come up and pretend like you're a water fountain and spit water up in the air. Let's get down there without falling. I did it. This bank has a mixture of old trash, slag, and new. Looks like it's been a while since anybody lived there. Oh, what that is. I got a little park bench.
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go stagnant for a second. There's so many broken bottles over in here. That can only mean nine things. We gotta look up here, don't we? I see a tire. All the glass is in the creek. I don't see any on the bank, so that means it all washed down from somewhere further up. Now, bottles do travel. Library scents do not. That's for those of you who remember what I'm talking about. But you know that pennies dropped in raging water do not get washed down. They drop to the bottom and stay and we played that game gosh I thought somebody was sitting down there by that bridge but it's okay people are people so why should it be There is someone's entire underwear drawer. And I smell perfume. Way too strong. Why do I smell so much perfume? It sounds like somebody just ran up in the woods. Why do I smell so much perfume? Who throws all their unders? Out in a creek. One spot where I wanted to get in earlier, what I do is I go around the neighborhood and uh, I'm not going to mess with that. If I find a creek in a town, I'll map it out, see where it goes, see what's around it, you know, look at aerial photos, all kind of things like that. And uh, then I get on the ground and do some real looking by driving. If there's more than four pit bulls dragging a chain through the neighborhood near the creek, I avoid it. And most of the time, there are. I had one come up and try to chew the tires off my truck just for driving through his neighborhood. I almost gave my opportunity to stop, drop, and roll. But there were people on porches kind of close to me. And I didn't want them to see all their dog's guts squirt out its rear end. So I opted out of that option. I decided to give it a break. Because I, I, I watched a video once where a dog, a pit bull, chewed like a plastic bumper off a car. We've been here before, but it's been a long time. One, two, three. We got five options. This is the creek. And I'm whispering now because I don't think I'm far 
from the pit bull zone. I moved on up the creek. This looks like Dead Horse Bay, doesn't it? Probably not as awesome. What is that, a little insulator? If I do hear or have a dog run up on me, I'll turn the camera off so you won't have to experience <laughs> what's about to go down. I see a tiny bottle. Remember how I've always told you the tiny bottles always make it? Look at this mound of glass and everything else. Do you see the tiny bottle yet? Well, it almost made it. The other side is broken. Join your friends. It could be a bad day to get stuck in there with a, a mean dog, huh? Headlight ring, right? The other side of this, and about one more block after that, there are many half-leashed puppies. This is a road that has not been used in a long time. We're going in just Hold on a minute. Let me take my glasses off. Let me take yours off. And we'll see if we can see anything, okay? What do you think, this one? Yeah, I do too. We'll come back up through the other one. Say footprints. I don't know if you'll be able to see. There's not a lot to see. So far, every bit of it looks like this. I'm gonna get out. Hey, the other side had too many houses. We're not gonna play that game today. I do not have on my jogging thigh highs. Go back up the creek slowly, er, more slowly than before. I 
Oh yeah. Look at that just hanging there. That's a neat one. Every bottle dump has these little white bottles. Never ever seen one in this shape. Maybe it's Dairy Queen. I mean Maybelline. I don't know what that says. We're gonna harvest though. I sent a friend a few of these not too long ago. I guess he got them, I can't remember. Somebody sent me an email and asked what I do with them. And I said, I make a pretty pile. There's a wad of copper wire. Hope there is not a lady sitting back up here wearing all that perfume with all her stuff dumped out everywhere. there look at that trash bag you see it just fall out of the sky it rains trash in Alabama back the uh, back the video up was that black bag there a few minutes ago it sure is just gently sitting there that could have been there a few minutes ago <sighs> chicken Lighter fluid, charcoal lighter fluid, chicken lighter fluid. Speaking of chickens, our Tyson deserter, you know now, he turned out to be a, uh, a rooster and not a hen. So I got to do a little internet searching. The all too common creek tire got to do a little internet searching and from what I have found and y'all help me out the world record is 23 pounds and a few ounces now if I do another video just about the bird if I can get this verified before this one goes out then you'll know it's old news and the videos are not in order well this bird weighed 21 pounds what a, a month ago i don't remember when i put the video out but then i did I actually made the video a while before i put the video out i don't know why it's just the way it works
That is a very long hose pipe. Or is that a cable? That's why your cable reception is not so good. Yeah, that's uh that's because uh they run it through the trees and then it just falls into the creeks. That's why you don't have good reception. What were we talking about? Birds with feathers that flock together. That's what it was. So if 23 pounds is the world record, I think we're going to beat that. CT, that's the, I mean, CT, TD, would be the Tyson deserter, is uh, growing a lot every day. Her feet are continually getting bigger. And believe it or not, she's still pretty healthy. So we might have a record. So I got on the Guinness beer records, world records, and found out those two words are spelled differently, I think. I spelled it wrong. Anyway, Guinness World Records. I got on their website to see about how to have it officially weighed and possibly get it entered as the biggest chicken, biggest recorded chicken. And when you get to the end of filling out all these things online, you go through all these steps where it says it's going to use your name and your information for all their promotion list sold to other websites i'm talking about pounds and mounds and pages of information about how they're going to use all your private information and give it to somebody else and you got to be okay with that well i click no 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 kind of pretty in it then you raise up and see all the garbage. And it's only $5 to apply unless you want to do it a quick process. And the quick process is that's for them to review your stuff. If you look it up in one page, What is that lime? Still like types. Still like pile. It's pretty neat. Anyway, what are we talking about? On one of their links on their website, it says it's eight hundred dollars to have them fast forward and get you an answer quickly. And then when you go to click further to possibly choose that option, it says it's $1,000. Not only that, it says when you choose these options, they simply send you a certificate that says congratulations on whatever you think you have. And that's it. And then they just decide if they ever want to put it in a book or not. Because nobody reads books anymore. But you cannot fully enjoy Guinness World Records without the book in your hand. It ain't the same trying to look at it online. Number one, you can't. I haven't been able to. But I remember when I was a kid, knocking mosquitoes off my neck like I'm doing right now. I remember when I was a kid looking through the Guinness Book of World Records. And this is probably one of the most fascinating books that I had ever read when I was a kid. I didn't read it either. I looked at the pictures. And I wondered what in the world was wrong with the grown-ups. Because there's a lot of weird ones out there. So long story short. Well, the only way to verify this is a world record chicken is for y'all to look it up. 
give me all your facts shoot them to me and on comments or emails or whatever and then I will weigh it again and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it I may put it in a bag I wish I had one of those scales you hang stuff from because before I weighed it EA Jr. was was holding it remember but I'm thinking a more accurate weight would be put it in a bag you know a nice cloth bag or a pillowcase gently and uh, hang it up see what it weighs and then if we got a world record then you and I can celebrate and that'll be the end of it remember uh, Gabe brought it home he's the one that's getting ready to go off to college he graduates in May. Don't forget that. Y'all send him a card. Don't tell him I told you to. If you send him a card for graduation, don't say, Hey, your daddy said you want to get a card for graduation. Don't do that, please. Just send him a card and say, Happy graduation, baby. Got you on my mind or something like that. And that's it. I'm not asking you to send him stuff. I just want him to be excited. Anyway. I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, he brought it home. He rescued it that night. In the storm when it was all, had a bloody broken beak. That's three Bs. That'd be a fun acronym. I got to retie my man purse up. I'm trying to not let it get in the water. Hang on a second. Fixed. I don't like getting my man purse that Becky made me dirty. It's getting <laughs> it's getting a little rough around the edges, but it's been a lot of miles. So Gabe brought it home. He rescued it. I know you reminded me, dude. Finish your story or don't start one. I know what you're saying. He brought it home. EA Jr. and I built its pen. What's that? A little beaver stick. And then we've we've all taken turns feeding it and cuddling it. And EA Jr. gives it it's a little bit of exercise every now and then. I'm thinking about extending its pen so to have a little more places to run but I've seen people with chicken coops that aren't even as big as mine and have 10 birds in it true they're just a form of produce for some people I understand ours are for entertainment and a good day There was something that rounds with that, but I don't know. We're almost back. So the only thing we got was a pocket knife and that Fiskars thing. And I told you it was going to get on the other side, didn't I? And walk the bank. Let's do that. I may have errored. I may have already gotten too far away. I really don't want water in my new walkies my lovely leggings let's get out of this we'll get up there to the shallow moisture we'll get out and talk a little more I could be mistaken but I think that is another no it's not I thought it was a piece of white glass oh it is it's a lid to one of those jars that I sent the fella We'll hang on to that. He may have the the jar to it and want the lid. Never know. Some people collect dead blooded butterflies. Some people uh, plant flowers to see live ones. Some people just have cows and the butterflies just land in the cow pods. You know, so whatever makes you happy. I 
I'm going to stumble back through all this. I made it there. I think we're done. I need to come back in here and just stare at the dirt wall every now and then. Just see if anything new is washed out. Anyway, I'm done. I might look around a little bit more, but you probably wouldn't be excited with that. Thanks for watching my videos.